What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bass and Prodigy. Now today as you can see I have my braid and my frog. You know what that means? Another how-to video. And today we're out kayaking. I'm kind of on a solo mission today to do some kayak fishing because my parent and grandparent are fishing from the bank today. But I kind of felt like bringing out the kayak to do some videos and also to do some kayak fishing. And today's knot that I'm going to be teaching is the double shindo knot. And if you guys, one of the first knot that a lot of people learn how to do is the clinch knot and the improved clinch knot. Basically what the um, double shindo knot is, it's a clinch knot but with double lines. So the first thing that you're going, going to want to do is take your two tag ends, well your braid, fold it over just like this. And then just like that. And then you're going to feed it through the eye of your bait. Just like so. And make sure that your lines are not crisscrossed. They're like right next to each other. Then what you're going to do is you're going to bring some line out. Oh my gosh. Massive bass just jumped next to me, guys. I think I might be starting with the frog, maybe. But anyways, double your lines over like this. Then put your finger in between them. And take the tag in. And wrap it around wrap it around six times okay so you're gonna take it take it and then you're gonna bring it around once twice three four five six then what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring this tag end the loop and put it through the finger loop right there and then just like a clinch knot, you're just going to cinch it down. Just going to cinch it down. Kind of mess with the tag ends just to get it to cinch down properly. Because um, sometimes when you make too big of a loop, it can get messed up a little bit. And just kind of pull them both. Lubricate it before you fully cinch it down. And it should look something like this. Just a basic little barrel on top of the eye of the hook. And it should be like four lines right there. So then what we're going to do is we're going to cut off the tag end. Just going to cut them off. Okay guys. Let's cut the tag ends off. And there you have it, the double shindle knot. Oh, we have another tag in here. You should be left with three tag ends after this. And this is not the double San Diego jam knot. This is not the improved clinch knot. This is the double shindle knot. So this is what it should look like. Obviously, you're supposed to cut your tag ends a little bit neater than this. But this is what it should look like. Just a small little barrel on top of your bait so they, that's what it is guys i hope you guys found this educational and as always stay positive stay happy and go catch some fish peace